What's going on guys? Nick Hellman here, aka the Crypto Hitman. A little crack in the voice because I just woke up eating a little banana and cream oatmeal for today's oatmeal update. What do we got going on here? Well, the yeah, ascending broadening wedge looking more realistic on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is still holding here. The fact that it is holding and only slowly dropping is giving altcoins some life. This is an unaltered uh, drawing. I drew it starting on this candle, and look at that, huh, huh, looks pretty good, we'll see, we're monitoring to see uh, if we can get even down this low, our indicators are getting pretty oversold, the technometer, the Wyckoff proprietary, proprietary indicators that will be available public soon, but let's see how this is affecting the market, wanted to look at just a couple other things, cake here, regaining it's a uptrend line for the first time in over a month. It is giving it up here a little bit. Well, let's see where the four-hour candle closes. Uh, this is on the back of the Uniswap news. It is up over 205% off the lows in its own regard. But, you know, Uniswap is going to be doing revenue share. Uni went up 75%. Cake is also a DEX token. It is a big following Uniswap. Let's see what the Pancake Swap team is cooking over there. The pools, the APR on the solo pools for Cake are absolutely atrocious. So they need to really improve those and that would get some new buyers uh, because really the only option to make any real income, passive income from Cake right now is to do liquidity provision in the farms or you have to do very long term locked Cake staking which most people aren't very fond of. The pools was a good opportunity to earn good APR, earn some new tokens to the market and maintain your holding and your position in Cake for the long term. Let's see if they do some kind of revenue share. We do know they are going deflationary and have been doing burns this entire bear market. But let's see what they are cooking. Talking about uh, D-Pin and AI cryptos. A GPU is one that we gave a buy here in the private Discord. Doubled down as well. Up 354% here quickly. Still only a $15 million market cap. Still increasing their farm and the number of GPUs they have going over there that are rentable and lendable. So check it out. It's in the right sector. It's a good market cap. It isn't even on uh, centralized exchanges yet. It was just listed on CMC, just listed on CoinGecko, just listed on Beyond FOMO, and a completely fair launch. No pre-sale tokens, no team tokens, no nothing on this one. And uh, yeah, it's doing quite well. There is a tax. I think it's a 3% or 5% buy and sell tax. That is what is funding this business as of now. And they're also producing revenue off the, uh, you know, uh, nodes is what they call them, but GPU nodes that are being rented or lended for AI computation, data sets, whatever it may be. I would check it out. Still a small cap, still not available to the public and looks like it is consolidating here. Now, this is not financial advice because, again, patreon.com slash learn crypto. We are in, you know, 350% lower than this in just a few days. And then, of course, <clears throat> we had to talk briefly on Pulse Chain and what's going on here. I've been telling you, I put out videos every day. I've given multiple buys, both in the free forum and in the paid forum. And now we are breaking out of this bullish formation here explosively. Now, what's interesting is you would think, okay, you would think, all right, pessimistic measured move, another 13% higher. Bullish measured move, you would say another 35% higher. But the crazy thing about PTGC and really this whole ecosystem, whether it's Alien, Burn, or PTGC, this is the biggest one uh, that I've been talking about, um, is the token economics. It is buying back and burning tokens. It is becoming deflationary. You get rewards simply for holding it, which makes you not want to sell it. And let's look at their OA wallet. Their OA wallet is their treasury wallet. Well, what do you see? What do you see here? They have 684 million, 685 million PLS. That is going to be used to buy back the PTG token and burn it at some point. That is absolutely insane. How much is that worth for you guys? Well, let's see here. PLS. Get rid of that. 685 million. $86,819 worth of PLS that could be used to buy back and burn PTGC at, at this rate. Over 1.1 a billion PTGC could be bought off the open market. And then if you want to take it a step further, you go to the website, still locked up in their dial for the next day is another 57, 58 million PLS. So that's a little sweetener. What's 58 million? That's another $7,351 that has just built up in the past couple days from the buy and sell tax and the token economics of this ecosystem. Makes it really hard to want to be a seller 
uh, when the pulse chain, the blue chips, PLS, is flat, and yet this altcoin is mooning, because it is tied to the liquidity of PLS and PLSX. If these start going up too, wow. And the projection is these could go up. These could go up. Did a video yesterday saying as long as we hold this uptrend line, and what do you know, it bounced right off of it. Upside objective here. Next upside objective minimal is 56% higher. If PLS, which is the largest blue chip of Pulse Chain, goes up 56% over the next week, two weeks, month, whatever it is, what happens to PTGC? Where it's tied to it in liquidity pairs. It's actually being slowed down by PLS right now. What happens when they deploy $85,000 worth of PLS for buybacks? What happens when they deploy $7,500 worth of PLS for buybacks? It could get explosive, so we'll quickly touch base. Alien, new all-time highs. Reflection token of that. Holding this earns you more PTGC. Burn, new all-time highs. Holding this earns you free PLS and buys backs and burns, or buys backs and pairs and liquidity, PTGC. All benefiting each other. Check it out over on Pulse Chain. That's the quick... Oatmeal update. Things are looking a little spicy. Things are looking a little spicy. We'll monitor Bitcoin here. Even if this is the Bitcoin play, if it kind of does in the slow, meandering way, this is just going to prolong the altcoin season we are seeing with decentralized exchange tokens, with AI tokens, with D-pin tokens like a GPU. So check them out. Follow me here on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, whatever it is for free. Or join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto to get our exact time stamped step by step trades on Pulse Chain, on Ethereum, on BNB, on Arbitrum. You name it, we do it. We're looking for alpha, we're looking to make money. Uh, another one is a BRC20 token called ORNJ. There probably will be a sell off March 1st. Just because there will be, you'll see. Watch the chart, you'll be wanting to buy that dip as well. Peace!